So I'm gonna be honest, this is like my fourth attempt at recording this video and if it screws up somehow I'm just gonna say screw it and have you guys have the candid version of me yelling at Blender not working if that's the case. So anyway, this is a mesh modding tutorial for uh, AEW. Pretty simple. If you watch my texture modding material uh, tutorial, it's pretty much the same. I'm going to export Brian Cage because I'm going to replace him with Doom Slayer my uh, 2k22 mod of doom slayer so he's exported now i have my doom slayer files here so it's open blender <sighs> gonna make new project delete the cube save it in a folder i know and then we're going to use a psk plugin to import brian cage um, I'm going to link a special fork of the PSK plugin that's made for modding. Um, you'll know you have it because skill down is, will be unchecked automatically and I believe this export button is all new for that. So let's import Brian Cage. There he is uh, imported. He's big as 2k. Gonna put him in a new collection. Select hierarchy, drag into there, so now I can switch him on and off. So I'm gonna switch him off for now. And import my Doom Slayer model. So I got the head from the base model and the body from the entire model. I'm going to delete the gun for AEW just for now because this is a simple tutorial. Okay, first things first, if you're uh, importing a 2K model, you're going to see that the UV maps all have their own name. So you're going to want to select all your objects. Run a Python script I made called rename UVs. Run that. And then you'll see they have UV single as their name now. If you do not do that, when you combine the objects, you can have UV issues. So just do that, as I say, if you're porting 2K. And now we're going to apply the materials. So I'm just going to get the textures out real quick. So this is the gear. Go into material view so we can see it. Head. Now he's good. So apply the armature on both. And then click both. Hold, drag, shift, alt. Make sure they are both in base model. If you do not, now they are unparented from the skeleton. Combine them, apply transforms. Oh yeah, you, if I'm saying things you don't get, like combine them. It's Control J, watch some Blender videos. This is not a course on how to use Blenders. It's a course on how to get your models into AEW. So if you don't know how to use Blender, look it up, then come back to this. Um, anyway, so we got him in one mesh now. Rename him Doom Guy or whatever. Delete all the vertex groups from WWE. Now we got Cage here. Cage is going to be our vertex group source. As you can see, um, the hands lined up perfectly. If they didn't, you'll have to scale the arms using the bones that your source model comes with. Luckily, I got lucky here. The arms align. Heads a little off, but that don't matter in the long run. This is just how to get your uh, model into AEW. So, I'm going to select Cage. I'm going to select Doom Guy. Control Tab. Weight Paint. Weights. Transfer Weights. Go into here. Nearest Edge. Source by. Same name. And this take a look at these settings. And now you can see all the AW vertex groups have appeared on Doom Guy. So we're gonna get out of that, select Doom Guy, go back into weight paint. You can shift right click to see where all the weights are. But here, as you can see, we have face bones. Because if you mod WWE, you know the faces are done by shape keys. AW does them by bones, so it's universal. So you get all the shape keys, the weights from the uh, face bones. So we have to get rid of those in a second. So we're just going to create a new collection. I, for sorting purposes, I call it export, copy Doom Guy, 
delete cage, drag the armature, turn off everything else so we know we're good. Now for Doom Guy, what we're going to do is we're going to click this arrow here, press S to sort it by name. Then we're going to all the face bones start with F underscore. So that's good for us. So what we're going to do is just delete all those. So first off, um, just hit this minus and then spam enter on it until you have deleted all of the face bones. You know you will when you get to there, the H bones. So if you deleted some, it was just Control Z all the way back to uh, no, elbow R. Elbow 1L should be your first one in the list. Now we're going to look for uh, J head. Now if we go into vertex paint, we can see his entire head is not painted. So easy solution for this model is either you can just paint it back on, you can do it in edit mode, but for me, I have the head as its own material. So we can go into edit mode, select the head, go to vertex groups, J head selected, assign, now go into weight paint, and as you can see, its head is now fully weighted. So that's that done. Click Doom Guy, hold, dra drag him in over the armature, shift, alt, and now he's parented to the armature. Add the armature modifier. Apply transforms again, just in case. And now he's done. He's done and ready for the game. So, what we do is click the armature, export as FBX on this plugin, and now he's saved to where our project file is. So, next up, I've uploaded a master materials version of uh, AW Fight Forever uh, mod project template. So you. Uh, just double click this U project in here and it should launch Unreal Engine. So I'm going to pause while it does that. So now as Unreal opens you will see we have some folders already made. This is necessary for helping our mods get off the table. So if we look through them we, they're just master materials for the, uh, for the game that we will instance our materials off of so we can use the game shaders. And you have the skeleton and physical mesh that um, your wrestler will be referencing. So first off, I want to talk about textures from 2K to AEW. We saw in my texture tutorial they use ORM files. So I have one yeah, ORM files. So occlusion, roughness, metal. In WWE, they have these packed into the uh, norms. So taking a look at my Doom Guy norms here. So it's yellow and blue. We don't want that. So first of all, for 2K ports, you will need to, one, extract the blue channel and the alpha channel from the norms. The blue is the roughness. The alpha is the metal. So if we were transferring over, we'd copy this from blue and put it in green here. And then we'd copy this from alpha and put it in blue here. So that's what we'd end up. If you don't know how to make occlusion textures, just fill it with white. And then that's what you get. As you can see, it's looking like the original ORM now. And and that's not the, and then on the 2K norm what you'll do is fill the blue with white, get rid of the elf, and flip by control I in Photoshop, flip the green channel and these will be um, AW compatible normals now. So you can save that. I'm going to pause my video recording and do all my material texture conversions and then I'll get back. One other thing I wanted to point out quickly is one thing you might want to um, do for sure if you're porting from 2K is once you have this final piece, go into edit mode, vertice mode, control, uh, I mean hit A to select all, M by distance to merge all the vertices, Alt N set from faces and then export because that'll help bring your model size uh, down in Unreal and fix up any issues. So I've got my uh, textures all done here 
and I've got my orms, my norms, and my colors. So if we open up the norm here, I baked an occlusion map in Substance Painter, which is advanced stuff we don't need to get into right now. As I said, you can just make it white. And one thing to note is the roughness of AEW is super sensitive compared to other games. So if you look at the roughness on the 2K version, it's quite darker. So I suggest boosting your roughness maps by 75% or else you're going to get really, really shiny models. Like even way more than you want. So our textures are all done. And now we're ready to import the model. So we have the FBX here that the uh, plugin exported. But first we need to replace Brian Cage. So we're going to find where Brian Cage was exported. So we have the wrestler data folder already in my template, so that's good. And now we have M302 Brian Cage. Copy that name in the wrestler data folder. Create a new folder. Paste the name. And now we will import the FBX into there. So for settings, we're just going to make sure these two are checked. Select scale elite base roster male. So physics asset, select the elite roster base male as well and hit import and it's going to make a little bit of a mess for us which we will clean up okay so first of all you should only have your textures that your model on blender is grabbing and the two materials from blender and your model so open it up we see doom guy not done yet so we're going to rename that to the cage model as well Three. To Brian Cage. I think we're going to delete all these because we don't need them right now. It'll say, oh, this is using it, force delete. Okay, now we're going to instance the game's materials. So we're going to make a folder called texture and a folder called material. Next up, we are going to import the texture folder I had there with my arms. So we got all the textures there. Then we are going to go here. Uh, the gear shader is in models create care materials. You'll see two here. MI care materials. You're going to right click that. Create material instance. Then we're going to call it MI doom uh, head for his helmet. And then we're going to drag that into the material folder. And then if you want to do skin shader, that's here, MM character skin. I haven't gotten this hair one working, so you can use a custom hair material if you want. Um, the I one is here. Don't use this care standard one. I tried it, it doesn't work. I should delete it. I'm adding a future version. And then, uh, so yeah, if you want to do skin, you do that, right click, and then follow the rest of this guide for that. But Doom Guy doesn't have a skin material, so we're going to do another on the tire, so MI Doom uh, suit. And then we're going to throw that in his material. And now we have to edit these two to use his texture. So double click. You get options here, tick them all, paste color normal orm. So we're going to head, 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 head and head orm. So now if you uh, preview that on the cylinder, you can see Doom Guy's texture. Do it again on the suit. Take those gear, gear, form. And now you can see it's all proper. And now we have to assign those materials to Doom Guy. So Doom Head, nope, that's the suit one. Doom Head. And now he's got those master materials uh, linked to his textures. So save all that. Save all. Now we gotta assign the pack chunks. So, first off we can do audit assets. And if you're using my template, you should see this. Um, just gonna drag this out here. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, yeah. So anyway, you should uh, see the master materials, care attires, care hair, skin, standard, MMI. Those should be into these light green ones. And then that one dark green one. And then the fizz and the scale should also be in two or any other chunk that your mod will not be in. So all these are our mod files. So we will be 
go into material these assign chunk if you watch my texture tutorial you know all about chunks I'm gonna tell it 55 go to the textures assign chunk 55 the model now assign chunk 55 save all save all now we're gonna audit assets again all we need are in 55 the rest cannot be in 55 or else you will get crashes so skeleton to physical to limited masters into so now it's ready for packaging same place as my uh, previous tutorials so I do it in saved packaged and then it's gonna come out and so now packaging is complete and we have our pack chunk gonna name it Z uh, doom uh, 55 so people know it is pack chunk 55 add that P at the end and now we can put it in our pack folder our mods folder custom launcher see if it works if it does not work we'll have to diagnose it in this video see what we did wrong but the model should appear so moment of truth here So let's go to Modify Wrestler. And look up to Brian Cage. And there he is, there's Doom Guy. So it's that simple. You uh, just, and as you can see, his finger's a little off. Um, not much pretty bad about him. It's a simple transfer weights mod. Um, there are some things we will get into later. We don't know how to do hair physics yet. We don't know how to do, well, there is a way to do face animations, but that's for quite advanced modders, which I'll be making guides for in the future, I guess. And, um, for hair, you'll want to use a custom opacity material. You don't need the instance to master, um, and for 2K, you'll have to bake the hair to a texture. But this, this tutorial showed you the basics of getting your uh, model into the game. So I'm just going to screenshot that for Twitter. And then that we're done. That's all there is to it. If you have any questions, I guess let me know. Um, but yeah, so to review, export the model PSK, import a blender, import your model, pose them the same because not every model will come in that pose, they have to be the same pose. So remember that if you're new to modding. Um, transfer the weights, um, group it all into one object, set the materials right, export it as F FBX, put open my master materials um, project, and then import it to whatever wrestler you want. Select the right skeleton, Make sure the skeleton is not cooked with your pack chunk and you should be go good to go.